guys, how are you? Welcome to Couponing. This is Splint Rose. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good myself. Um, I'm on here because I have a couponing story I want to tell you. And I know a lot of you have been asking me to tell the story, tell the story. Don't forget to tell the couponing story. Well, it seems like uh, the stores that we visit are basically the same stores, CVS, Walmart, Target, Rite Aid, and uh, those type of stores. That's where I do most of my couponing. But this day, I happened to be in, in Walgreens. And um, while I was there, uh, you know, I was shopping, picking up a few item, items here and there. And when I got to the um, counter or the cash register where I was going to... Um, check out and um, uh, pay for the items, excuse me, pray for the items that, um, I, again, I was eating popcorn, <laughs> and I just felt some come on my mouth, okay, when I was uh, going to pay for the items that I had purchased, I heard all this noise, um, and this man was um, standing there, and I mean, he knew his stuff, too, and he was talking about... Um, but how can you tell me? Well, this was him. He was saying, well, how can you tell me that I can't uh, purchase these items when I am within the limits? My coupons say I can purchase uh, four items of the same thing and uh, use the same type of coupon. But the manager was too through with him. And she kept saying to him, well, no, I'm not going to sell it to you. I'm not going to. Uh, you cannot just come in here and buy up all these products and then uh, expect us to um, sell them to you. I'm not going to sell them to you. So I'm listening and I'm saying, what the heck? I cannot believe that she's telling him that she's not going to sell the products to him. And of course, you know, I'm thinking about myself as a couponer as well. And uh, I'm thinking, well, if she's telling him he can't buy the products, then what is she going to say to me? So anyway, they keep going on and on. And she said, I'm tired of you. <laughs> this is what she said to her. She said, I'm tired of you and tired of you always coming in here, buying up these products. And um, then I don't know what. She said, they say you were at the other store. And you go in the store and you buy up stuff. And so he said, well, what does that have to do with you? Uh, he said, um, uh, and I mean, he started quoting to her different couponing, uh, couponing uh, laws and different couponing um, uh, things that you can do, or policies, I should say, in, in their store policies. So uh, she said, well, I'm not going to sell you these products. And he didn't have much. He had medicines and ointments and stuff like that. And um, she kept telling him, no, I'm not going to um, sell you nothing. And I'm saying to myself, well, dag, she sure is rude to him. But anyway, so I spoke up and I said, well, wait a minute. I said, well, he can buy four products. He can get four products with his coupons um, because they limit you to four. I said, the only one that limits you to two that I know of is the Procter & Gamble. That's the P&G. And so he turned around and he looked at me and said, thank you, miss. Thank you. And so she said, okay. I will sell you this, but that what you got in the cart, I'm not going to sell that to you. And so he said, fine, okay, all right, okay. So uh, he ended up buying those uh, four products. And um, buying the four, the four of each, I think he had about uh, maybe three or four different products. And so... Um, she rang him up reluctantly because she she told the man, I'm sick of you. Uh, I, I don't want to, you know, to, to have anything to do with you. And um, I'm thinking to myself, my, my God, she is mighty rude with him. But then she sold him that. And then it was my turn to go. So, But I didn't go to her. I went to the other cashier. Okay, so I started giving my uh, coupons. And the young lady, I guess she's new, so she didn't really know how to um, uh, how to do with the register and stuff. So she had to call that lady over. So she came over, and um, I had uh, six items of the same thing. 
And she said, well, you know I can only take four coupons. I said, okay. See, I put my foot in my mouth because with that particular coupon that I had, you can, you, you can buy more than four items with it. But because I had opened my mouth and said in the man's transaction that you can only use four, so she only used four coupons for it. But that was fine because um, the, the things were uh, buy one, get one. So I didn't care anyway. And so then she started talking to me and she said, oh my God, the, the manager started talking to me and she said, this man goes to every store and he sells his products. I said, well, how do you know that? She said, well, the, when he goes to the other Walgreens, they call me and they say that he's here. <laughs> Hold on. So they say, they, they say, he's here. So... They are expecting him. Well, they're really not expecting him, but when he comes, they know who he is and they know what he does. He is a couponer. And they said that he sells his stuff. I said, well, how do you know he sells it? And she said, we, we just know, we just know. She said, but you know, I'm really not like that. But this man comes in here and buys and buys, and then he goes to the other store and buys. So I'm thinking to myself, like, wow, what does that really have to do with you? He's buying the products, and uh, he's he's moving the products out of the store. I don't know. But you guys, let me know. Do you think that that particular manager had gone too far into the man's business? and um, Or do you think that she was just doing her job as the uh, manager of the store? I don't know. Uh, me personally, I don't see how. I, I mean, some people hate couponers. You know, they hate people that coupon. I remember I was at another Walgreens and the guy told me, oh, I'll be so happy when they get rid of coupons. I said, what? Why are you saying that? And he said, oh, they're just so much uh, trouble. I said, oh, okay. I said, but the people that use them enjoy them. So anyway, um, uh, this was a story I wanted to tell you. Uh, uh, I think I would have been embarrassed if the lady had been, if the uh, manager had been telling me that she's sick of me, that um, I come in a store and I do, and, and telling me what I do when I come in the store. I would have been so embarrassed. Um, I made a, I may have called corporate on her, <laughs> but I don't know. To each his own. All right, so guys, that was, it's really not my couponing story, but I did make it partly mine because I got in it. And uh, as I was standing there hearing all of this stuff, I am a couponer too. And, um, you know, we have to stand up for one another. So because I uh, said something, then she gave him the products. Otherwise, she wouldn't have given it to him. And you know what? The line was getting long too because she was fussing with that guy, with that man. Yeah, but I'm, you know, like you, I'm happy to see men couponing as well. So, anyway, guys, that's been my couponing story for this time. Uh, let me know what you think about this, okay? All right, remember, have fun shopping. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up the video. Press the notification button so you'll be notified every time I put up a video. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.